Which bike is faster? This very special fuel injected 500cc two stroke or this 450 race machine? Let's find out. I've got my pro rider friend Tom Grimshaw with me today and he's gonna take these two bikes, our 500cc two stroke and his 450 race bike for a couple of hot laps to see which beast is best. Let's take the 450 for a spin first and I'll introduce you to Tom. Okay, so this is Tom Grimshaw, a current MX1 Pro racer. And Tom, just tell the people how experienced you are in 500s. Zero. So you've only ridden the 500 once before for a couple of laps, and that was on one of our shoots, right? Yeah, it was like three laps or something, four laps, and um, half yeah. roll. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> just ticking around. And that was at Kajiva 500 when we was messing around with those bikes a few seasons ago. So, um, what are your predictions for today? Then, obviously, don't have much experience, if any, on a 500 in anger. What do you reckon? How's it going to go down today? I think the way that most of these shoots go down, I'm going to get a big shock. So, <laughs> yeah. um, in a good way, I think. I think it's going to be a lot closer than we think. I've spanned some laps around this place before, quite a lot on the 450, so I'm going to be comfortable, but I generally don't think it's going to be a ma massive margin between the, the 500 and the 450. Right, let's uh, get your lid on. We'll go on the 450 first. Tom has started his hot lap on his 450 race bike. This is the machine he's been using all season long. And actually, as I sit here now, laying down this commentary track, Tom is racing this bike at the final round of the British Motocross Championship this weekend. But if you don't know Tom, he's been a friend of the channel for a very long time. I've known him since he was a 65cc ripper back in the day. And he does actually have some two-stroke credentials as well. Tom recently won the Super Evo Ultra Class at VMXDN Fox Hill, as well as the right national team race. Him, Sam Nunn and Liam Garnand won that team race as well at VMXDN Fox Hill. So he does have some good two-stroke pedigree as well. But here we see him ripping around VIP motocross. A big thanks to Rich and the team for uh, letting us use the track for this day of filming. It's in prime condition right now. Tom is ripping it up on the 450. Just a couple more turns to go then for him to complete this lap on the 450. This will be the time to beat the bar to jump over. So let's see. What he's laid down, a final corner for Tom now, up and over the finish line he goes. Okay, so Tom's just completed his hot lap on his 450 race bike. This is a gas gas in case I haven't said that yet. What lap do you reckon was quickest? You did three hot laps. Well, you did two hot laps and then had a little lay down. Yeah, so we, we could scrap that one. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping you're not going to bring that up, <laughs> but yeah. I reckon first one. Yeah, first one was slightly slower, very consistent, but your, your best time was a 119.29. So that's the time to beat on Kong. You obviously look very fast, very comfortable on this. So I'm a little bit nervous for Kong. <laughs> but we have done a, a few upgrades on the 500 fuel injected bike. So I'll tell you about that now. Kong started out life as a Husqvarna 300 enduro bike. With the help of my friends, Sean Smith, who's come along to watch today, and Roland Shaw of Hardcore Racing, we transformed our donor bike into a 500cc beast using BRC Racing's 500 conversion kit. We also decided to update the standard Husqvarna transfer port injection system in favor of the more modern, more efficient throttle body injection system, which is another product available from BRC Racing in Canada. This bike is now an absolute animal. So this is Kong, our fuel injected 500cc two-stroke. And since we last saw this bike on our channel, it's had a few upgrades. I've actually got a full video all about those upgrades coming very soon. We're in the process of filming that and getting that done. But for now, I'll just run through those updates very quickly for this video before Tom takes it for a spin. Well, first up, we did the TBI conversion, and then we got it refueled and remapped to match the new injection system. And we did that with the help of Rutherford Racing and Two Stroke Performance. So it's right 
running absolutely perfectly now. It's a weapon in terms of uh, motor performance. Then we wanted to upgrade the suspension. So uh, we hooked up with our friends from WP UK. They uh, sent us some cartridge kits. We've got some stiffer springs in there at the front and at the back as well. Our buddy Stuart Holland from SHMX installed those for us and got it perfect running sweet for the motocross track because we, it was an enduro setup before and it was a bit soft a bit bouncy when you hit the jumps but now it's ready for the motocross track and the last thing that we did was down here we wanted to um, increase the stop and power a bit in the big bore olympics video a few weeks back i nearly overshot a corner went straight into the bushes so we wanted to increase stop and power because it's a very fast bike so our friends at 24mx sent us this oversized front disc from a, it's a braking a front disc so that's on there now we're going to be able to stop on a dime and actually you guys can get a 15 percent discount on products just like that and a whole load of other things on the 24mx website if you use our discount code 999 laser you'll get 15 percent off the bike is fast we saw that in the big bore olympics video it's got good suspension now that's the one thing we wanted to sort from the brc shootout and now it can stop so uh, hopefully fingers crossed this thing is going to put up a good fight against tom's race bike so uh, Let's get, let's get the man geared up, let's get him on track. Right, so Tom, you've just done your first, very first laps on a fuel-injected 500, or any 500 for that matter, in anger. Uh, we haven't put the stopwatch on yet, but just give us your initial reactions of riding this bike. What was it like? I had so much fun. Like, generally, it was, again, I said at the start, didn't I, I said it's going gonna, it's gonna to shock me, and it did. Coming out of the turns, I just thought, everyone knows about how fast the 450 is and everything, but this just hooks up yeah like generally hooks up but it's also quite usable as well like it's not ripping out my arms or anything it's pure acceleration right from the get-go you yeah. know so but i loved it i really did oh, I really liked it, it sounds so good as well isn't it we was all we was all watching going <laughs> that sounds good suspension all right yes Feels yeah, good. yeah 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 it's quite bumpy out there yeah it's a bit chop and i'm quite a heavy guy and obviously this has not been set up for me and so it's a little bit soft to my liking but generally over overall feel and everything it was really good so um like we're saying talk about there's quite a lot of fuel in so there was a bit of weight going into the corners but um overall no it was all good right so uh you ready for a hot lap then absolutely yeah let's, let's do it, do it. So that's Tom Grimshaw setting his hot lap on Kong. It's quite nice to be this side of the camera. It's, yeah, it is, yeah. It's, it's really nice to uh, to be this side to see what the bike sounds like, what it looks like. You know. <laughs> He's never ridden the 500 like this before. He's never been on that bike before, and we've been, well, like the, just a few warm up laps, half a lap, and he was like whipping it sideways, and I was thinking, yeah, unreal. <laughs> Thank you. 
So Tom's coming around towards the end of his hot lap on board Kong. And I have to say what an absolute pleasure it's been to watch Tom ride this bike how it wants to be ridden. Absolutely flat out on the gas, sounding so good. Two corners left to go. How will he compare to the 450 race bike? This is the moment of truth for our 500cc fuel injected beast. The moment of truth for Cobb. And up over the finish line. <laughs> what, what a sound. It's got to be the best sound in 500 out there, isn't it? Surely. That was wicked. That sounded so good. <laughs> we thought that you might, depending on your review of that, you might want to race it on the weekend because <laughs> it, it looked pretty fast. Yeah. How did it feel? It felt fast. <laughs> um, yeah, like, like I said before I went out, it's like it hooks up so good out the corners. It's just instant power, but also, I don't know why, it just felt like I could also throw it about a bit. Yeah. And I felt comfortable. It looked like that for sure. Yeah, I, and not one point was I like scared of it, you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's the moment of truth. Let's reveal the lap time of Kong. Remember, everyone watching, everyone here, suspension's not set up for Tom. What other excuses can I throw out there? Suspension is not for Tom. He's never ridden a 500 before. He rides that all the time, suspension set up for him. So let's just have a look at the lap times. We use the cross box um, device on the helmet, so these are dead accurate lap times. Yeah, so before I reveal the, uh, reveal the lap times, Tom, did you put the same effort into both bikes? Absolutely, yeah. On your 450 race bike, you had a fastest time of a 119.29. Then literally back to back, you did three or four warm-up laps on this, and then we got the stopwatch on. Fastest lap on Kong, fuel injected 500cc two-stroke, 119. No. 26. Really? Come on, Kong! <laughs> that's <laughs> that settles it, Tom. You've got to race yeah. this on the weekend. Yeah, yeah, let's make the call. Let's do yeah. it. Come on. I'm that, shocked by that. 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 that was, that was, yeah, mate, when, when we watched you on it, within half a lap, not like, literally half a lap, you just looked so at home. So Kong just narrowly takes the win, but it was very close, almost exactly the same lap times, but. Like you said, when Tom was riding, I think that goes to show how good the bike is, yeah, but also how good oh, Tom how is. How good Tom is for literally not riding a 500 before mm. and then jumping on this that isn't set up for him and then banging out a lap time like that, just incredible. It yeah. just shows how good he is. And obviously, you know. How good of a job you've done yeah, well, with a bike. You know, we, we know the bike's good, but for him to jump on that yeah. and do that is, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think everyone involved in the build, yourself, yeah. Roland, um, Rutherford Racing, Stuart Holland, TSP who've helped us with that yeah, yeah. awesome ERM device. Just yeah. everyone who's helped us out. Obviously, 24MX, Pewterline, O'Neill. Big thanks to everyone that's helped make Kong faster than a 450 race bike. It's made it the king. The king Kong, king yeah. Kong. Tom, thanks, mate. Thank you. Sean, thanks for all your help. No As always, guys, my name is Max. This has been 999 Laser. Until next time, we'll see you at the track. <laughs>